I'm Dirk Rovida and I'm the director here at the School for Social Entrepreneurs and I'm delighted to talk about our graduation event today. So this is the end of a year-long journey for our entrepreneurs, 19 of them graduating today. And it's amazing to see the richness of projects, passion, vision and pure persistence that's in the room. Actually, you know, with all the challenges they have personally as well as professionally to bring these enterprises off the ground, it's fantastic. And it's great to be here in Bristol, great to be in Bristol, be part of the city, be part of this rich network of social enterprises, sustainability workshops and com companies and organizations. I love being here and you know, just being at the M-Shed, as we talked about, just with the background, against this heritage of Bristol, bringing com commerce and community, bringing business and social purpose together. That's what School for Social Entrepreneurs is about and that's what these entrepreneurs out there are doing now. So great. Hello, I'm Charlotte Young and I'm Chair of SSE, which I have been since 19... no, about 2003, I suppose, but I've been involved with the school since it started in 1998. So I've been to lots of these events and I'm always struck by how totally inspiring and quite emotional the event is um, because these are people who've taken a big risk, uh, they're, they're going to really dedicate their life to something which is quite dramatic. They're taking an act of faith because they're not absolutely sure at this stage that it's going to work. They've got some indication and they're pitching at this stage to a world that may or may not support them. Um, but our results are fantastic. So um, when we've had evaluations done, we find that 80 or 90 percent of the people who started their project are still running them now and uh, 70 percent of them are running them in the 20 percent most deprived areas of the country uh, and on the whole they generate millions and millions of turnover and work for people as well as improving the lives of the people that they work with. Hi, uh, my name is Alistair Sorde. I run my own publishing company, which is just around the corner, or my son runs it and I founded it. I came here today partly out of fascination, but partly because I was asked to make a small speech and deliver a prize. But I've been completely blown away by what happened. Um, it was one of the most exhilarating afternoons I've been to for a long time. To listen to the stories of so many brave, imaginative, um, and committed people. It was a real privilege. And my message to those starting the course for next year would be very similar to my message to these people today, which is that have the courage of your convictions, have a very clear ethical center for everything you do. Be prepared to fail, because you will fail um, at times, and there will be horrendous barriers put before you. Anybody who tries to do something new has the dullards crawling out of the woodwork. So all power to your elbows and don't forget that um, people love giving advice so pull in all the advice and the goodwill from everybody you can find because they will get as much from it as you will give. My name is Rosy Love, I'm the Programme Manager for the Bristol School for Social Entrepreneurs. This is my second year working with the school and today we have graduated um, our second cohort from the programme. Um, I've been working with these guys for a year um, and have seen some incredible individual personal learning journeys. Each one they've, has been totally unique. Uh, but as usual today, as each of them got up to present at their graduation, I felt inspired and humbled at the same time to have been part of that learning journey. I'm moving on to Pastures New, but I have thoroughly enjoyed working with Bristol social entrepreneurs and wish them every best for the future of their enterprises. Thank you. So I'm Jeff Smith from Lloyds Banking Group and I've been mentoring a guy called Will Pritchard on the uh, School of Social Entrepreneurs Mentor Scheme. It's been an amazing experience. It's really interesting. They say when you start, you will learn an awful lot from this, you'll get an awful lot from it. And I kind of thought, yeah, you're going to say that to get mentors, but I really, really have. Um, it's been inspirational to work with somebody who 
kind of hasn't quite known what he's doing all the time, but I've learned along with him. Every time we've met up, there's been something new to learn, something exciting and passionate. And I've, I've quite often gone back to my desk and just been like, well, what am I doing with my life? Why am, yeah, how can I make the world a better place? Um, so that's been really, really valuable. And I hope that in a small way, my contribution will actually have helped to shape the lives of other people as well. So my name is Sam Haydock. I'm the school coordinator for the Bristol and Dartington School for Social Entrepreneurs. I'm here because I coordinate the events um, and put the things together for the students. Uh, it's my absolute favourite time of year. It's when you see all of their hard work and everything that they've achieved come together for one final showcase. And I'm so proud of everything they've done. They've been brilliant. I'm June Burrow. I'm the new Bristol representative for the School for Social Entrepreneurs. Um, today at this graduation ceremony was my first day, totally inspiring, wonderful to see what a year of support can do to take an idea and a vision to a place of reality. My passion about social enterprise changing the world is quadrupled and I'm really looking forward to this year because this is a new role for me, it's a new role for the School for Social Entrepreneurs. We're looking at how to develop and grow SSE particularly in Bristol and looking to how we can expand and support as many new social entrepreneurs as possible because that's such a valuable thing to do. They have a real role in this world to do things differently, to challenge the status quo, to look around the problems and find the solutions which so often people give up at that stage and I think the entrepreneurial spirit kind of gets knocked down and gets back up and says right okay we'll try a different way so it's a really exciting potential for Bristol and for social enterprise generally and for the SSE really looking forward to it